Hi everyone, today's video is going to be all about backups. Yeah, not those type of backups, you dummy. We're going to be talking about backing up or transferring your Serato crates along with your music. So every two weeks, I like to create an exact copy of my Serato layout onto an external hard drive. It helps me create a safety net if I were to lose my laptop or have it stolen. Today though, it's a bit different. Not only am I going to show you how I do that process, but also show you how to do that same process from one Mac to another. I'm going to be copying the same layout to my new 2016 MacBook Pro with Touch Bar. This video is really going to target those with a Mac device. Now the same steps can be applied onto moving onto a new PC, but since I don't own one, I can't show you or guarantee the same results. So be careful when following these steps. I'll be providing some links to the devices I'll be using in the description below. So if you want to buy them and follow along, you can. And again, who is this video for? Well, for people looking to create a backup or for those who just purchased a new laptop. This video is going to be a bit longer than usual, but that's because I don't want to just speed through without really informing you of this process of backing up your Serato stuff. The folders we're going to be focusing on moving are the Serato and Serato backup folders. Both these folders hold the metadata that is your crates and subcrates, along with some other vital information. By moving this over to another device, you're effectively transferring all your Serato info you've ever created and changed to continue it onto a new device. That way, you won't start from scratch again. The tricky part though is how and where you store your music. I personally have it stored within my music folder on my Mac. This will vary from DJ to DJ, but for time's sake, I'll be using my method, which is just having detail folders within even more detail folders, year, record pool, month, and date. If you use another method, like iTunes, make sure to dig a bit deeper into how to implement your method to this process. The most stress-free option is to connect both MacBooks via a Thunderbolt cable. This cable helps you transfer stuff over at super fast speeds, given that you have fast hard drives installed on both Macs, which in this case I do. Now this cable will work with any pre-2016 model, but since I'm moving over to a new one, I have to include a Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 adapter which is not cheap, but the end result is moving my music over in no time. So here are the steps. First, make sure both laptops are off. Plug the chargers onto both computers. Plug one end of the Thunderbolt cable to your laptop and the other to the second computer. In this case, I'll be using the adapter along with the Thunderbolt cable. Power the computer that you want to transfer your files onto. Log in and that's it. Now, the second computer, make sure to hold down the T key as you will be using this computer to target and mount onto your new computer. Once detected, let go of the key. Now you will see that the secondary computer's hard drive has mounted onto your primary computer's desktop. Click the drive, click the user folder, and in this case, I have all those folders located within my music folder within Finder. I want to keep the layout the same, so I'll be copying my folder onto my new computer's music folder as well. And there you go. You have successfully transferred over both your crates and music. The second option consists of using an external drive. Now, with an external drive, there are so many options to pick from, like a regular spinning hard drive or an SSD drive, each one varying on speeds due to the SSD providing faster transfer rates. Prices will vary as well, but the process is the same. In this case, since I'm going for speed, I'll be using my Samsung T3 SSD drive. You can see that this drive, compared to a lazy Thunderbolt drive, is much faster, thus making the moving process fast. But like I said, any external drive will do. So here we go. Go ahead and power on your computer. Plug in the drive. Open the hard drive. Begin to move over those same folders from before onto the external drive. Once the transfer is complete, eject the hard drive. And begin the process of loading them onto your new computer. Or if this is a backup option, then that's it. The process is complete. An external drive can serve as both a transfer device or a backup option. No matter the case, it's always good to have a backup plan. An alternative option, which I won't dive much into, is to extract the internal drive onto an enclosure. This option is a bit more technical since you're going to be messing around on removing your internal drive. It's not a difficult process, but if you don't want to accidentally damage anything internally, then maybe skip this option. So now you've moved over all your files and crates. What do you do next? Well, now you have to relocate all the files. 
make sure you've downloaded Serato onto the new laptop. Once open, you'll see all your crates and files have populated the screen. But then you go and load a song, and suddenly the song turns orange and has a question mark next to it. It's alright. Since you've moved all your stuff over, Serato is just confused on where the original files are. This is where the relocating process begins. Click the Files tab next to the search bar. Then look for the tab that has Relocate Lost Files. You'll see a lot more files turn orange. Don't worry. All that means is that Serato has started the process of determining what files are missing. You'll see the bottom activity bar that Serato is searching everywhere to locate those lost files. Depending on what drive or device you're using, completion time will vary. So make sure to have your laptop charging. One big change is that in the process of finding those songs, you may reanalyze some of those files and change it to BPM. Unfortunately, I don't know of a workaround. So in the end, you're going to have to go song by song and change the BPM back. In most cases, the BPM will just double up. This tends to happen on songs that range anywhere from 50 to 70 BPM. Once it's all done, make sure there are no missing files left. This process isn't always guaranteed to find every song, since sometimes we forget that we've deleted some songs and thus making it impossible for Serato to find them, since they no longer exist. Never try to search or relocate songs on the same computer that is housing the original crates. When using an external drive, try and see if you can use another computer that's never had those crates in use. In doing so, it might confuse your computer into deciding what files to go off of. So to avoid the headache, always relocate songs on another device with Serato. One last drawback would be that if you really aren't organized with your music library, then the mess will just carry over onto the new drive or computer. So be sure to organize your stuff before you dump everything over. Always be organized. So there you go. Hopefully this video helps anyone out in the process of getting a new laptop, replacing an old hard drive, or just wanted to create a backup option onto an external hard drive. So if you guys have any questions or need any help, go ahead and comment down below and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.